Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today on Beepop, I'm gonna show you my makeup room, finally. So let's get started, because there's a lot of makeup room for you to see. So this is my makeup room. It's basically um, in my upstairs. You just kind of come up the stairs right there, and then my makeup room is right here, and then our bedroom is like over to the left. So it's not really a room, but yeah, I really like it. It's good, it's convenient. So I'm just gonna show you everything. This is at the very beginning. <laughs> there is mascara baby. She used to be in the background of all my videos, but I recently decided to change the background of my videos up and I put her over here instead. She is by Sand. She is a East LA street artist, I believe. So I'll link her up down below. Then on this really, really cute, cabinet that I got from Garden Ridge and now it's called like at home or something or home in general but on top I just have this really really cute vase that's from Garden Ridge as well and then um, my bouquet from my bridal shower like it has all like the ribbons and stuff you know people do that and then on here I have this little cute trinket box that my mom found thrifting thrift store and I have all my kind of jewelry in there earrings and stuff and then this cool lantern does turn on and I believe it's from Ross and then I made this skull with all the jewels on it isn't it cool cool shots cool shots oh yeah and I just basically bought the styrofoam this is styrofoam skull from when it was Halloween at Michael's and then I bought this really giant pearl in the necklace section and then glued all these jewels on it and then over here you guys may find these familiar they are from the Walgreens beauty books and then we have Wonder Woman, Batgirl, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn and then on top there is a cool skull candle and an owl I like am obsessed with owls you're basically gonna see a theme here of owls skulls and Disney. Don't be surprised by that theme. <laughs> so over here we're getting more into the makeup area. So down here I just have a few bins with some stuff in it. There's my empties bin, bin over there. I try to keep it kind of away so it doesn't look as messy. But here is my desk. The chair is from Target. The overall table bit is from Ikea. And then also this is an Alex drawer. I think that's what it's called. I got the black one. So, I mean, I really like black and plus everything is white up here. So I want to have a contrast and this is the same desk I had in my last apartment in my last makeup room tour. Um, let's go ahead and show you everything on here. There's a lot of stuff up here. And then I'll go through that in a second, but up here I have my lights. They're really inexpensive. Um, basically, these are mic poles and then these kind of lights you can get at Lowe's or whatever and it just basically clips on to the mic stand um, and then it has the little curly Q bulbs and a piece of diffuser paper on top and then it has a like a clothespin or something and then I have my camera it's a Canon 70D and it has autofocus which is awesome especially if you're holding things up constantly like I am and the tripod is pretty inexpensive too. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what's on my desktop here. I have my makeup bag. It's the Barbie one. And this is also from Walgreens. And then it has all my essential stuff I use day to day. The skull is from Michaels. I got it around Halloween. And the box is from Michaels as well. And then on top, this little um, acrylic tray I found at Target for three dollars and they have them again so if you need one go to Target go quickly and on there I have Binks from Hocus Pocus it was one of the mystery bags and I got Binks and I was super happy and then I also have Ariel some some and then I have most of the Wet n Wild Mermaid collection on there as well as a few of my favorite palettes we have Lime Crime Venus palette and we have Edward Scissorhands and then there is the Balm Nude palette. Down here this little heart thing is for my friend. Um, it's great for like 
lippies and stuff. So I just put a few of the lippies she got me in here from Models Own. They're so pretty. And then I have a Yes To lip gloss. I actually have some more lippies I can probably put in here, but I haven't done it yet. Down here, this is a blush for my mom. And then I have a Betsy Johnson coaster for a drink. That on top. And then there's a really cute picture of our little family. Me, Michael, and Bauer. And he's right here too, wanting attention. What? Mommy's making a video. I can't hold you. I can't hold you right now. Okay, he's probably not giving up. But this frame is also from Garden Ridge slash home, which that's the weirdest, the weirdest name for a store ever, I think. Just my opinion. Over here, there's another Betsy mug, which is from Michaels. They did Betsy like collab with Michaels and had this kind of stuff out. And it is a actual mug. You can see the thing over there, but it holds all my brushes which is nice and convenient. So this has my eye brushes, and then over here, the skull has my face brushes. It's a little overloaded. <sighs> this is my mic. And yes, it's on a Tresemme bottle. Yep. And then right here, this thing is to take pictures of myself. I just hit the button and then it takes a photo for me, like automatically in the camera, so I don't really have to mess with it much. I have some cards over there. I just filmed a few videos I need to download and edit. Right here I have a mirror and you can kind of see me in the mirror. Hi! This is from Walmart. Yeah, super inexpensive. I think it was like five dollars and then I just have it popped up on some palettes. I'll show you what palettes I have it on. Um, I have the Tales Old Time Disney palette as well as the Pirates of the Caribbean palette from Lorac. And then over here I have a little little cup with a face it's super cute that's from Target and I have tons of Betsy Johnson pins in it if I need a pin there's my pins and then back there my lip stick bank my friend got me and it's really cute and then right here it's another one of those Betsy Johnson collabs with Michaels and it has a skull on it um, see <laughs> but it just holds a lot of my perfumes as well as my foundation right there over here, I have another one of those cups from Michaels and Betsy Johnson. So you can see his actual mug. And it has just some more brushes in it. If I get low, um, I take them from here. And there's the Simply Meant To Be palette. And this box is from Michaels. I like to stack things. Is that weird? Like, I just like to stack things. So over here, I have the Lip Smackers Disney Emoji, Cinderella and Belle. This is how I keep my palettes um i basically got this little thing i think it's supposed to be for papers for a desk and i got that in the dollar spot at target for like i don't know a dollar or something and then i just put my palettes in here that i use frequently this is a card from lisa frank <laughs> but i have the vice palette i have the alice through the looking glass palette i have the dirty dancing palette of course and the beauty and beast palette from Lorac. So that's pretty much what is on my desk. And then down there I have a zebra trash can and my dog. Bower, 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 are you gonna pay attention? Are you going to? Or are you just gonna sniff that? Okay. So my background, I don't know how to get a good shot of this. There's my background you see in all my videos. You probably don't see the lower half, but I'm gonna show you what's in it. So all these flowers are tissue flowers that I made. Um, it took a while, but I found a tutorial on YouTube, of course, and they're pretty easy to make. It just takes a while to fold paper, especially when you're making this many, like that's a lot. <laughs> Over here, I have another chair, um, which is the same as my desk chair, and it is from Target. Then I have my <laughs> mascara baby pillow and then Jack is hanging out with her. And then I have this really cute fuzzy heart pillow from Target. I found it on clearance after Valentine's Day a few years ago, and it was like $2. There's a little bin down there. I have some knickknacks in there that I haven't found a spot for yet. I guess we'll just go like row from row on here and just kind of talk about this. This cube thing 
It's from Target, it has a lot of cues. I need something taller so you can see it in the background because my other one I had was too short because it was only two cubes wide and this one's three. That's where I got it. It was like, I think it was around $60. It was the cheapest I could find and it's also black like my soul. So on top of here, what you guys see in my videos, I have my Little Mermaid makeup bag, which I love. I love the art on it. It's so pretty. It is from the Elf Disney collection that was at Walgreens. And then also I have some of the palettes or beauty books from that collection. I have Ariel, Ariel, and then Ursula. And I have that on course on top of a box. Like that's a common theme here. Everything is on top of a box. Then I have this acrylic thing. It says love. I just thought it was pretty. And I found that at Macy's. And then I found this one like last week at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it's super cute. Like look how cute that is. And then I have this, I don't know what it's called. What, like a tray? I don't know. What is that called guys? But I also found that at Macy's a few years ago as well. And then it holds a few of my Betsy perfumes. I really like the color of it. It's pink, it matches everything. I have Betsy Johnson and then Tutu perfumes. Down here, how cute are these, right? A friend of mine actually made me these. So they're little um, nail polish bottles and then they say Beauty Pop on them. Aren't those cute? This is from Target. It's actually supposed to be a real rose that never dies. And that just made me think of Beauty and the Beast. So I put it up here. And then I have this cool arrangement that I actually used for my bridal shower because it was Bessie Johnson theme. If you guys wanna see my bridal shower, I'll put it up in the cards. That is from Michaels as well. I love stripes. So Betsy Johnson. <laughs> then over here, I have this little lip bank. I think I got that for Christmas. And then I have one of those light things that say beauty pop on it. And then all of this, so much stuff to show you. <laughs> So let's start off with this cube. I have a Alice in Wonderland little print from Jasmine Bucket Griffith. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'll put it on the screen. And then this right here, which is Cinderella's carriage. How pretty is that? That was an ornament I got this year um, from Hallmark. Well, you probably won't be able to find it anymore. <laughs> Maybe online. And then I have a little tiny glass butterfly and then a little fairy over here that I've had forever, like literally forever. Next cubicle. <laughs> this is like my bell themed cubicle or my bell themed cube over here. This is like the Alice theme cube. This is the bell theme cube. So I have the bell beauty book and then I also have the rose. And I think this is Linux. Yeah, it's Linux. And it's actually an ornament, which you probably can't find that anymore either actually since Christmas is over. But I also have my tea set, which is Mrs. Potts chips, chip, and a few others. Um, I've had this literally forever since the 90s. I don't even know who got me this. I was probably like five or something, so it's an antique. I have seen that they are selling like Mrs. Potts again because of the resurgence from the movie and all that. But this one's original. Like this one's straight up vintage collection. I do have a little chip on not chip, there's chip, but yeah, I, I love it. I think it is from Disney. I'm gonna say it on the bottom, but yeah, Disney. But I absolutely love it and I just wanted it there cause it's so pretty. My mom recently found it and was like, take it, take it home. <laughs> this one is my Ariel themed one. I have all my beauty books behind there. I'm sure you guys wondered what I did with all those beauty books. I just decorated with them. <laughs> And then I have another Ariel makeup bag of precious moments of this um, really, really pretty mermaid and she's riding a dolphin. I love mermaids, as you guys probably didn't notice. <laughs> and then the last cube on this row is all Ariel, shocker. Same artist, um, Jasmine Griffith Bucket, Bricket, I don't know, put her name again. Ariel, precious moment has this fashion and the actual like, pearl in here lights up which is really cool. I got this lip gloss from for Christmas. Can't talk today. And I like to put it here because it kind of goes with the ocean theme. And also my mom found Ariel Pez dispenser which is awesome. So I put it there and it looks really really cute. 
So in this cubicle, I have this box from Voodoo Donut. If you've been to Voodoo Donut, leave me a comment down below. Their donuts are awesome. I kept the box because it's so cool. And then I have a Bessie Johnson cupcake, ceramic cupcake. I think these are sold at Macy's like a few Christmases ago. Then I have a few Christmas decorations with this cupcake and then I have this eyeshadow palette which is says fabulous inside out and it's really really cute. This one has my nail polish. I got this acrylic nail polish thing on Amazon so I'll link that up down below in the description. My finger looks huge doesn't it? <laughs> so I have all my nail polish there. I also have my nail polish in this one right here and then over here uh, uh. I have a few books. I have um, Nasty Galaxy. I have Michelle Fawn's book. And then I also have Girl Boss. If you have not read Girl Boss, you really should. And I also have my Bride Cup. I think this is from my bachelorette party. And then I have my little owl guy with some extra brushes in case I need them. And then this is from an event I went to in Berlin. Um, the same girl who made the nail polishes above made this for all the speakers and my goal is a speaker so I kept it. I have a little fairy on a mushroom. <laughs> and then down below I just have basically storage. Um, like in this one there's just sheets in it so I just use it for storage. What's this one? This is my craft bin. This one has random stuff in it. And then that one has Bauer stuff in it. What are you doing? Oh, are you gonna sit cute now? And then over here, this is like the corner area. I have both of my Mickey headbands. And then down here, I have both of the Wet n Wild boxes. Who wants to be in the shot? Why are your eyes watery? Hmm? Hmm? You match. He matches my decor. So I have the mermaid and unicorn, and I have some of my beanie babies on top. More owls. <sighs> and stars <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you guys would like to see any more in depth i don't know maybe a look into my alex store like how i organize my makeup if you'd like to see that leave me a comment down below someone's on my lap i hope you guys like this vlog style makeup room tour if you did leave me a comment down below or like this video definitely liking the videos helps my channel so make sure you, you do that i appreciate it so much yeah this is just an easier way for me to do it when i don't have michael around to help me because i can just do it on my own and there's not a whole lot of me in the video but you can hear my voice <laughs> explaining where everything is and I was just thinking we should do a day in the life of Bauer. Would you guys like to see that? Because it would probably be a lot of sleeping. That's all he does. He's 10 years old. I know he looks like he's two, but he's really 10. Like he's old dog and he kind of just does what he wants. Don't you? Oh, oh, okay. He wants to be petted. So that's what we're doing. Oh, evil stare into camera. Okay. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure and give it a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You can find me here on social media. Check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and click that button below to subscribe. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye.